The thing that most people get wrong about AI is understanding the difference between average results and great results. They think it's about which tool they're using, but it's more about how you prompt it. And most of us, including myself, we suck at prompting. We're lazy, write short prompts, don't give enough context, or just completely structure them wrongly. Luckily, I found a cheat code. It's called the master prompt. And I've been using this for the last few weeks on ChatGPT, Claude, Midjourney, every platform. And the results are 10 times better every time. And over the next few minutes, I'm going to walk you through this master prompt, how to set it up, how to use its different modes, so you can benefit from this hidden AI cheat code as well. And if you want to use this for yourself as well, there's a link below in the description where you can get all these setup notes and the full prompt for yourself that we're going to use in this video. Now, the cool thing is you can use this master prompt in ChatGPT or Claude or any other similar LLMs, plus it can create prompts for all these platforms as well. But to get started, you're going to want to use something like ChatGPT or Claude, where you can create a project to actually store the setup for this prompt. So the first thing you want to do, we'll do this in ChatGPT, but you want to go to projects on the left hand side here and click new project. Now in here, you want to give it a name. So we'll just give it the name, the master prompt. So we always know where to find it. And we're going to hit create project. Now we need to do a little setup here because we actually want to go to these top three dots in the top right here and hit add instructions. Now this is where we're going to put the prompt. So we'll go back to our master document here, go to the prompt at the bottom and copy and paste this whole section, everything in here into our system instructions, because this way we can just jump into our project, open up a new window and start creating the prompts that we need in several different modes. Now we're ready to start using it and I'll show you how you can unlock certain different modes within these system instructions. So we can start off with a more simple prompt build by using the word basic. I need to build a prompt that helps me deep research and outline an article article structure for SEO based on a main keyword. Now we can run that and you can see it says it takes that instruction of basic to keep it tight and focused to give us a short, sharp prompt we can use, which is really easy to understand here. You're an SEO expert. It's got the role. It's got the sort of the context of the task and broken down which tasks we want. Now we can actually go a step further using something called detail mode here. So we could actually say as well, detail mode and even specify the particular LLM we want to use. So for chat GPT and paste the prompt in here again, the same request, and you'll see the difference in quality of prompt we're getting. Now we've got the same introduction, the same role and context that we need. It's actually given us a step-by-step -step breakdown of how chat GPT should approach this task in terms of getting the search intent, competitor analysis, entity and topic extraction, content gaps. These are all things that you would either need an expensive SEO tool to do or take the laborious manual process to do yourself. Now with this prompt, we're going to be able to do it much, much quicker with chat GPT in just a few minutes. Now, because we use detail mode as well, we've actually been able to obviously input our keyword, but it's asked as well that we can put in competitor URLs. So I can go and grab some competitor URLs to create our full outline. You can see in the bottom here as well, the key improvements to our initial ask to what we've finished with is six clear phases for the research, as well as baking in some other important SEO factors and even gives us more options to expand further and further and further if we wanted to start creating some mega prompts. Plus, as I said at the start, you can use this across any LLM and it can build variants based on which platform you want to use as it's offered, offered here. We can say, can you build it for Gemini? Can you build it for Claude? Which you need to consider with some of your prompts because they handle some long prompts and the way they put output information slightly differently. So they need to be tweaked based on those different LLMs. But we'll stick with ChatGPT for this. Next, let's actually go and try this prompt out. I've run it in ChatGPT with deep research mode on here, and it's actually come out with an insane set of research and then baked it into a content plan in just five minutes. This is something that would usually take either chat GPT would kind of do a sort of week or I'd have to keep prompting and going through different setups, or it would take me hours to actually get to this level of research doing it on my own. The key thing to understand here is instead of going human brain to AI, we're now going human brain to AI to AI. And it's that middle layer that is this cheat code that we're talking about. Think of it like trying to explain something to a designer and you don't really know how to phrase your output. So you just say something like make it more modern or more sleek, or you can have a full design brief written by an expert that makes sure the work comes back exactly the way you want it. That's how you can think of this prompting middle step. And you can see now in our example here, we've got 
all the information we need from our search intent, from our competitor analysis. So we know everything all of the competitors have talked about in our research. We've even gone into Reddit and looked at the strengths and weaknesses on all of these entity and topic extraction, the words we need to be using through our content, as well as some content gaps and opportunities. What are other people missing that we can do to get the best in class piece of content out there as well as a few other seo notes here and then we've got the proposed outline which is insanely deep so that if you just wanted to sit down and now write this you had a little bit of knowledge on the subject and you paired it with this depth of research you could write an insane piece really quickly that is way better than all your competitors you can see the the depth and the structure that we've got we've got our h2s in there We've got everything that needs to be mentioned in each section, as well as further down the bottom, you see this thing goes on and on. It's really missing nothing that you'd need to give to a content writer, or if you wanted to use AI to write it, it would have a lot to work with now. We can see further down, it's even gone and created our title, our metadata, all that hidden SEO stuff, as well as giving us internal linking ideas and word counts and everything. There's everything we need here. Usually if you just tried to write your human only prompts, probably would have taken several steps and iterations to actually get this and suck potentially hours away versus in five minutes, we've got this structure and we can reuse this prompt every single time for our future content. Now, if you don't have access to projects or some of these paid LLM models, then you can just paste the master prompt straight into a chat window here and run it. And it will give you these instructions just as we discussed, which AI you're looking to do it, the proposed style, detail, or basic, and then get going in a new chat window. Personally, I like to use it in project instructions because it's just there and ready for me to use without any mess or chaos every single time. And if you want to learn more about how to use these sorts of features like projects in ChatGPT, then you can watch this video right here.